Welcome. In this video, we are going to do a high-level overview of WebED. WebED is a module to manage all the electronic aspects of a patient's care in the emergency department. From this module, you'll be able to sign up and track your patients, be notified when results are back, enter orders and document on your patient, and you will also be able to manage your workload list, sign out patients to other providers when you're done your shift, and manage any incoming patients into the department. If you have worked in WebAcute or have seen the video on this site, you will notice the similarities between WebAcute and WebED. When you first go into WebED, the tracker opens in this expanded form. This allows you to maximize the space of the screen. You can minimize the tracker space by clicking on the double arrowed button that you see right here. Clicking on this button minimizes the tracker as you see here. By minimizing the tracker, you're now able to see your workload list and your pending document list. Clicking on this double arrow again will once again expand the tracker back to the full screen format. The top of the screen has the familiar navigation bar with the quick access buttons to the chart, placing a document on a patient, placing orders on a patient, and entering the discharge routine. This navigation bar remains on the top of the screen no matter what part of the tracker or chart you are in. The tracker is organized by tabs, as you see here. The first tab and the default tab is your My List. When you sign up to a patient, they will populate onto your My List tracker. The other trackers available are listed along the top here in these tabs. Based on the geographical locations of your department, these tracker tabs will provide information based on that particular area of the department. If more trackers are available to you, you'll be able to select them from this drop-down menu here where it says More Lists. By clicking on this drop-down menu arrow, I am provided with the other trackers that are available for me to look at. The majority of your time will be in the My List tracker for your day-to-day -day activities within the department. When it comes time to having to sign up to a new patient, you're going to go into one of the To Be Seen trackers. For example, if I want to see who is waiting to be seen in the acute and subacute area of the department, I would click on this tracker. Going into this tracker will show me the list of the patients that are waiting to be seen in this particular area. Similarly, I can see here in the see and treat area that there are two patients waiting to be seen. I'm going to click on this tracker and it's going to bring up the list of the two patients that are waiting to be seen in this area. The tracker provides me with a wealth of information. Here I can see the name of the patient, where they're located within the department, their CTAS level, as well as how long they've been waiting in the department. I can see the presenting complaint in bold letters, as noted here, with abdominal pain. The triage note is available to me as well, as you can see here. Right-clicking on this will allow me to view the full triage note. To sign up to a patient, I click on the Sign Up button. When I click this button, I select Sign Up. By doing so, you'll see that my name is now on the button, showing that I am now the attending emergency provider for this patient. 
The patient will now fall off this to be seen list and populate onto the My List tracker. When I click on My List, you will now see that the patient is here on My Tracker. To help with organizing your workflow, a yellow post it note is available on the tracker. This can be used to document items on your patient for your own personal use. The documentation that you put into these post-it notes will not be part of the official patient record. When the patient is removed from the My List, the post-it note information will be deleted. It is important to remember that this post-it note is meant for your purposes only. It is not meant to be a communication tool for other providers in the department. Beside the yellow post-it note is a nurse communication bubble. The nurse communication bubble is the equivalent of the yellow post-it note that the physicians will use. The nurses will use this bubble to put information to remind themselves items related to that patient. Similar to the yellow post-it note for physicians, these information areas are only meant for personal use for the provider. They are not meant for communication amongst providers or for any urgent patient information. On the right hand side of the screen is the results panel. When orders are placed, they will show up as categorized bubbles in this results panel. For example, labs will show up in the labs bubble as shown here. Imaging that has been ordered will show up in an imaging bubble. Some orderables, such as troponin, will show up as its own bubble in the results panel. When results start to be reported, the bubble will change color to let you know that information is back on the patient. The red dot that you see here signifies abnormal results on the patient. The bubble will turn and highlight a green color as you see here to let you know that there's lab results back on this particular patient that you have not seen yet. By clicking on the bubble, it will bring up the lab results that are now back on the patient that you have not yet seen. It would also show you at the bottom of the screen what orders are still pending to be resulted on this patient. By closing this screen, I am brought back to my tracker and you will see now that the bubble is no longer highlighted as I have already reviewed the results that have come back. The results panel will also show the most recent vital signs that have been done on the patient. You will notice that for this patient, the vital signs are not highlighted in the blue color that you see here. This lets me know that these are vital signs that I have already seen for this patient. If a new set of vital signs are posted for the patient, it will change this blue color here. I can take a look at the vitals that are posted by looking in the results panel, or if I click on it, it will take me to a detailed list of the vital signs that have been done on this patient in this flowchart format. When I close this and return back to my tracker, you will see now that it is no longer highlighted in blue as I have viewed these results of the vitals. When a patient is selected on the tracker, you will see that the row highlights in this green color. I now have the ability to use the navigation buttons at the top of the chart to go directly into the patient's chart, to document on the patient, place orders on the patient, or discharge the patient. Also, you will see that there is an orders button directly on the row of the patient on the tracker. You can directly go in to place orders by selecting this button here as well. I'm going to go ahead into the patient's chart by selecting chart at the top of the navigation bar. Clicking on this brings me into the patient's chart. While I'm in the patient's chart, I have the ability to directly go in and document on the patient or place orders right from this screen as well. 
If I wanted to return to the tracker, I click on the tracker button at the top of the navigation bar as shown here. This will bring me back to my tracker. You can also directly go into a patient's chart from the tracker by clicking on the patient's name. If I click on this patient's name here, I directly go into the patient's chart without having to go through the navigation buttons. Once again, I can return to the tracker by clicking on the tracker button. You will notice now, beside the patient, there is a folder. This small folder lets me know that there is a chart open for this patient in the background. The reason for this is to allow the chart to load faster the next time we need to go into it. We are allowed to have up to five charts open at one time. If more than five charts are opened, a warning will come up to ask you to close one or more of those charts before you can open a further chart. For example, if I now go to open this patient's chart, I will get a warning telling me that I have more than five charts open. I can select particular charts to close, or I can simply close all the current open charts and then be able to move on into the next chart that I want to go into. The tracker will also let you know if a document has been started on a patient. If there is no document started yet, you will see the no document as shown here. If a draft document is started on the patient, it will show up as draft. Similarly, if you have signed your document, it will show up as signed. You have the ability to go directly into your document by clicking on the signed, draft, or the no document button to bring you into the documentation module. Another feature of the tracker is when you sign up to a patient and have a, another provider associated with the patient, they will show up in the bubble here. For example, if a nurse practitioner is working with you, or if you have an other mid-level provider, such as a medical student or resident, their name will show up in the bubble below your name. For detailed information and demonstration of documentation within WebED, as well as placing orders in WebED, please see the videos on those topics on the YouTube site. We also have videos showing the functionality of WebED using the ability to use the sign-out routine to hand over patients to another provider coming on shift. We will also demonstrate the call-in reception routine, which allows you to take information regarding a patient that is being sent down to the emergency department to be assessed. These videos and more can be found on the YouTube website. To minimize my tracker, I click on the double arrows that you see here. Minimizing my tracker will show me the panels for my workload and documentation. The workload panel that you see here populates with information such as lab results and chart deficiencies. The documentation panel will give you a list of incomplete documents that I have to complete or sign off. Up on the navigation bar, you will see the sign button. The sign button will show me how many deficiencies I have that need to be signed off. These include documentation as well as orders that need to be signed off. When you click on the sign button, it will take you into the sign module where you have the opportunity to sign off your orders and documentation. Videos are available on the YouTube site that review the functionality and demonstration of the workload and sign routine. From the WebED tracker, you also have the ability to find any patient within the Meditech system. You can look up a patient by typing in their last name and their first name within this find box you see here. If you have access to the Web Acute Tracker, you can toggle between the WebED Tracker and the Web Acute Tracker by selecting the down arrow that you see here on the Home button. Clicking on this will let you toggle back and forth between the two trackers. I hope you've enjoyed this high-level demonstration of WebED. Thanks for watching.